That's it. Excellent. What now? We, we've gotten big enough that we're having trouble communicating with all our settlements. It's a good problem to have, and I have a solution. I think it's time to retake the castle. It used to be the Minutemen HQ, way before my time. Well fortified, centrally located, and most important, it has a powerful radio transmitter we can use to broadcast to the whole Commonwealth. So what happened to this castle if it was so well fortified? This was long before I joined up, but the story I heard was that some kind of monster came out of the sea and destroyed the fort. A lot of the leaders were killed in that battle, and I guess nobody ever felt it was worth the risk to try to retake it. I've always wondered if losing the radio station was the beginning of all our later problems. So, should I have an assault force assembled near the castle? Yeah, let's do this. We'll do some recon and meet you outside the castle. See you there. Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome everybody to another episode of our 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. I hope everybody's doing well. I know that I am. And today we are going to be helping out the Brotherhood of Steel once again. And we're also going to start making our way to Diamond City. So without further ado, let's get started. All right. First things first, let's go ahead and go into our pit boy and nope, we don't want to be over here. Um, oh, we actually want to put a level in. <laughs> Duh, that's what I was doing. Oh, good lordy. Let's go ahead and max out our hacker. We're only going to put three into our hacker. We may put one extra into our locksmith, but it's really not that big of a deal. What's more of a big of a deal right now is getting our armorer up, our gun nut, and our rifleman. Mm, probably gunslinger maxing that out. We may max gunslinger out first, but we'll see. And we might want to get ninja as well. But let's quit wasting time and go ahead and get inside the Cambridge Police Station. I'll see everybody on the other side. Paladin and Dance. Glad to see you alive and well, sir. Are we in luck, sir? Mission accomplished. We have the transmitter. Finally, some good news for a change. Nice work, sir. I didn't do it alone. Hey, Been stuck out here too damn long. I'm itching to see some real action. Good, you're back. Aylin, Reese, it's time to welcome our newest recruit to the recon team. He shows a lot of promise. And with the proper guidance, I think he has the potential of becoming one of the best. Thanks. I promise not to let you down. You don't have to prove anything else to me. Getting that transmitter was enough. So you decided to stay, huh? I expected you to take your payment and run. I got tired of wandering alone. Too bad. I was getting used to the thought of you leaving. Reese, that's enough. Like it or not, you're going to have to learn to work together. And you... You need to understand what it means to be a part of the Brotherhood. We're not soldiers of fortune. We're an army, and we've dedicated our lives to uphold a strict code of ethics. If you intend to stay within our ranks, you need to obey our tenets without question. Don't worry. I've spent time in the military. Perfect. Then there's no need to give you a long lecture, so I'll get right to the point. I only ask for two things from anyone under my command. Honesty and respect. You fall in line, you stay in line. I give you an order, and you follow it. It's as simple as that. Now, before I release you to Halen and Reese for your assignments, there's one last order of business. From this moment forward, I'm granting you the rank of Initiate. This is only a training rank. I'm not permitted to grant ranks any higher than that. Why can't you promote me beyond Initiate? Only an Elder can promote you beyond Initiate. After we get the transmitter up and running, I'll call in and see what I can do. Thank you. Thanks aren't necessary. Just continue excelling at your duties, soldier. Ad victorium, Initiate. He doesn't even know what that means, Halen. Ad victorium means to victory. In our eyes, defeat is unacceptable because we're fighting for the future of mankind. Our rallying cry is more powerful than any weapon you could ever carry. Remember that. Now, I need you to report to Halen or Reese for your next assignment. Dismissed, soldier.
All right, out with it. What's your game? Excuse me, lady. <laughs> game? What do you mean? I can usually size people up at a glance, but you... You're different. And it's bugging the heck out of me. You're not the military type. You're a loner. So I can't figure out why you're sticking around. You got what you wanted, so why don't you hit the road? The Brotherhood might be the best chance I'll ever have to find my son. Well, as far as reasons go, that's a pretty good one. <sighs> Look, I'm gonna cut you some slack because Dance trusts you. But if you step out of line and put any of my brothers or sisters in danger, I'll make sure you regret it. So, ready for your assignment, hero? Ready. Then listen up. Like it or not, one of our most important duties is to keep the Commonwealth clear of the trash. I'm talking about mutants, ghouls, synths. The abominations the damn eggheads caused when they started playing with their toys. This op is simple. I'm gonna send you to a target, and you're gonna terminate everything that calls it home. All the details you need are right here. Don't come back until the job's done. All right, let's go ahead and head to the college square. I'm gonna crouch. Uh, we don't really need to, but I'm just gonna crouch ahead of time. So I'll see everybody on the other side of this door. All right, let's uh, make our way to college square here. We have to deal with a few ghouls, not really that many um, before we get into the uh, tunnel system or the train system or whatever it is. Nice. Getting uh, one shots here. Probably not this time though. Oh wow. Guess so. Never mind. I stand corrected. Over here is going to be about three or four more ghouls. So we're going to take them out real quick. They're somewhere over here. There we go. Ah! So many of them! Where did he come from? Good dog. <laughs> Good dog. Should be one more. Somewhere over here. Oh, well. We're not going to worry about it. What we're going to worry about is grabbing this racetrack advertisement. And that'll update our map. And then we're going to unlock this safe. Yes. Just grab everything in it. And then we're going to head down into, I, I think it's a service tunnel, maybe. Oh, no, College Square Station. You'd think I'd know <laughs> uh, what the names of these places are. But there's just so many of them. It's hard to memorize. Just saying. Let's disarm this trap. And then we're going to... Disarm the makeshift bomb. Grab some stuff over here. And then we'll go in here. There's a ghoul in here. Got one more up here. See if we can get a good shot on him. We can. All right. Come over here. There's a radiator with a medex on her. It's gonna say him, but you know. And then over here, there is a ton of chems. Ton of buff out right here. Kim box. Some radix. I always love uh, coming to this spot. 
Let's unlock this door. That's it. And then we're going to pick up this magazine, this Live and Love. Perfect. This is actually a really good magazine. It'll help your companions do 5% extra damage. So, pretty sweet magazine if you do ask me. Or if I do say so myself. Maybe that sounds better. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I give up on words. All right, let's go ahead and hack this terminal. All right, all I did was hack the terminal and turn on the Protectron and put it on uh, law enforcement Attention. personality, this as usual. Combat. You may suffer harm up to and including death if you remain in the area. This Try not to shoot the Protectron. Law. law and there we go. order has prevailed. We got another ghoul over here. This is the one that we're actually supposed to kill. All right. He have anything good on him? Well, caps. I guess so. Caps. All right. We're good. Also, uh, just to clarify, I did pick up the key. So we can just open up these doors. We don't have to lockpick them or anything like that. If you want to lockpick them, you don't have to pick that key up. It's extra experience. Um, to me, it's just so little. I'm like, meh. But that doesn't mean that it's not worth picking all the locks. All right. Bottle cap mine. Be sure to pick that up. Over there is a little suitcase. A little suitcase. It's just a suitcase, man. <laughs> that you can lockpick as well. Excuse me. I got a hiccup. Always got the hiccups at the worst time. All right, we're going to have quite a few ghouls over here, so just be ready. Should be coming right over here. Where'd he go? Excuse me, sir. I'm trying to make sure I take you out. Oh, wow. <laughs> I blew that up. I didn't, even, I didn't know that there was a explosive canister right there. Oh, poor Protectron. I couldn't save you, bud. That's all right. I avenged you. I avenged you, mighty robot. Skynet uh, probably didn't program him correctly. Because all the other ones survived just fine. Let's go upstairs. We essentially have everything in here. We don't need to loot everything. So if you want to loot everything, go ahead, uh, do that now. Um, I'm going to head out of here. So I'll see everybody on the other side. There's that other ghoul. Let's take him out real quick. Might as well, right? He was such a pain in the ass. Also, to give everybody a heads up, we do have the taking independence. And that's because I have claimed a few settlements, um, which, again, it's not necessary to do. But eventually we are going to do taking independence. Uh, this will stay on here for a while. Um, but yeah, so taking independence I just wanted to give everybody a heads up. I've been building quite a bit on my settlements. Again, it's not something that is mandatory. Um, so some of you may not be doing that. And that's okay. Um, but also you may be a little under leveled. 
just because I think I've got like six or seven levels from, or maybe even more from uh, building up uh, my settlements. So I'll see everybody uh, through the door. Let's go talk to Reese. That location better be cleared out. Affirmative. Really? Maybe you're not as worthless as I thought. Yeah. Now report to Paladin Dance. He said he had a mission for you. When you're ready for another op, you know where to find me. These are all repeatable, so I wouldn't bother. Uh, I mean, you can. It's not that big of a deal. Um, they're just repeatable quests. So it's up to you if you want to keep repeating them or not. Welcome back. I've got another mission for you, if you're ready. Ready. Outstanding. Over the years, the Brotherhood has sent several recon teams to the Commonwealth. The last squad went in three years ago. They never reported back. Officially, they're missing, presumed dead. And you want me to find out what happened to them? Correct. We owe them that much. Their insertion point was in the hills near Malden. Survey the area and establish a search pattern. Monitor your radio for distress signals. All recon teams are issued distress pulsers that put out a short-range homing beacon. If you can acquire a signal, you should be able to trace it to its source. All right, that's going to give us a new mission as well. Let's go ahead and uh, turn this off. Uh, the Lost Patrol, we, we don't need that on. Uh, but we do need the Jewel of the Commonwealth on. All right, let's go out here. Instead of hanging a left, we're gonna hang a right. Can you kinda see Diamond City from there. It's kinda pixelated though. Sorry, I thought something was to my right <laughs> for some reason, I don't know. I'm seeing shit. Let's go inside Fraternal Post 115. Alright, let's head upstairs and put on our 10 millimeter pistol. This is where you want to be very, very careful, by the way. Let's um, lockpick this safe real quick and then we'll hack this terminal. Nice. Grab everything in there. Now let's go ahead and hack the terminal. All right, so for those of you that may want to turn the terminal on, just be aware that it will shoot you as well. Take these cans down. And then right here we have Dead Eye. And Dead Eye, we want to get. A headshot on. Oh, oh. Got him. Whoo. Whoo. <laughs> he runs over here and pulls a lever and it will bring in a ton of super mutants. You don't want that. Let's go ahead and uh, pick the lock on this door. Sweet. There's dead eye. Oh, we got a frag grenade. That's not too bad. Let's go ahead and turn this radio off. Ugh. Damn radios. Grab these frag mines. Uh, they, I don't set them off because my sneak is high enough. But if you don't really have any sneak going on and you want to know where a landmine is, hit the VATS menu. And it'll tell you exactly where a landmine is. Also, if you hold the VATS... Um, button down it'll let you just go into that to slow everything down just a little heads up for anybody that didn't know that all right let's grab the uh guns and bullets nice. magazine pretty sweet cover i think that's dope that's very um I don't want to say like burlesque, but uh, like pinup girl style 
um, artwork. And I think that's just really cool. Let's go out back here. We're going to have a few more super mutants to take out. These are the super mutants that would have ambushed us if he would have set off that alarm. Oh, yes, I can. I'm just using the um, 10 millimeter pistol at the moment because I, I really don't want to try to kill them with the pipe pistol. The pipe pistol is the weakest gun in the game. At least in my opinion. Pretty sure it's the weakest gun in the game. Maybe the paddle ball is. I don't know. I think maybe, well, that's not really a gun, so I guess that doesn't count. It's probably the weakest weapon in the game. Oh, I didn't mean to run. All right, there's all the super mutants. Let's go ahead and switch back to our pipe pistol. I like to conserve my 10 millimeter rounds until I need to use them on tougher enemies. Um, and then once we get our uh, rifle skill leveled up or started to get leveled up, I'll be using that a lot more. And by then, I'm sure we'll have such a map. Uh, oh, my Lord. Good Lordy. Miss Wody. Uh, <laughs> at that point, we'll have so much ammunition. <laughs> Let's go through the fucking doors. And I will quit trying to talk for a moment. Welcome to the Cambridge Polymer Labs. Employment opportunities await in the field of scientific research. Shall we begin your application now? Sure. The world may have ended, but why not sit at a desk all day? Let's see what employment opportunities we have available for someone given your qualifications. Due to increased demands for staff in all fields, we have condensed the employment test accordingly. Question 1. Do you possess previous experience with polymer synthesis? Sounds like you need me regardless, so let's get down to brass tacks. Calculating test results. I am pleased to offer you the position of sales coordinator. Expect a loquacious future in haggling for military funding. Would you like the orientation before beginning your work in the labs? Sure, why not? Wonderful. Please find an open seat, and we will begin the presentation. The genesis of Cambridge Polymer Labs lies in the research of a group of brilliant graduate students. John Elwood, Erica Woolham, and Wilfred Bergman met during their time together at CIT. This slide shows them at their graduation. Their research into nucleostrictive and piezoelectric polymers caught the attention of Colonel George Kemp in the fall of 2073. In the spring of 2074, the company was founded with a generous grant provided by the Defense Experimental Research Project Initiative. The research produced here has resulted in several of the components used in the Liberty Prime Project that led to the successful defense of Anchorage. The company enjoys a strong relationship with the military and welcomes your addition to the research team that helps build a better America. Please follow me to the research lab so that you may begin your work. Complimentary beverages are provided for employees. Please label any food or cigarettes you leave in the break room. Let's continue following uh, this Molly robot. Rubit. Grab this Nuka-Cola Quantum and Nuka-Cola as well. Sales staff are provided with a business suit, the cost of which will be deducted from your first commission. Please take a moment to dress in your proper work attire and follow me into the clean room. The research staff will greet you on the other side of the clean room. Thank you for your attention and welcome to the team. 
All right, let's uh, grab this rat away. Please enter the green room. I will. Give me a second, lady. And then stim pack, buff out. Got Please quite a few uh, chems. Come on, dog meat. You're like right in my way, bud. I have been instructed to Scanning inform you that Director Elwood has issued mandatory overtime due to contamination detected. Consequently, staff will not be allowed to leave the labs until the piezonucleic lining project has been completed. Please report to the project lead, Dr. Elwood Woolham, for specific research assignments. Starting decontamination sequence. Contamination detected. Initiating decontamination. Alright, let's not get irradiated again. Again, for those of you that like to read some lore, there's a terminal for you. Also, this lore will... <laughs> teach you it will kind of tell you how to do this little puzzle but i'll also show you how to do the puzzle so if you're not into reading the lore i understand and i shall show you the way young padawans all right we're gonna step over here to this door take out another ghoul here we want the unknown sample 311 3111 <laughs> uh, something like that mm, not really much else to loot if you want you can come up here actually we'll take these out this way so they're not a nuisance later. So if you want to take out the auto turrets ahead of time, feel free. Let's turn directly around though. Take out that ghoul. Then there's going to be one. There's going to have one. There's going to be one that falls down or climbs over or whatever. Dog meat, you always get in the way, bud. Let's go ahead and uh, crack this safe got it all right we'll just take everything inside uh and then we're gonna hack this terminal for funsies so if your lock picking skill isn't high enough you can always hack into that terminal and unlock the safe if you want to that is uh, i thought that was i don't know what i thought that was i thought it was something i wanted though that is for sure. I almost forgot about this ghoul. Don't be like me and forget about that ghoul right there hiding under the table. Kill this guy. Immediately turn around because there's going to be a ghoul or not. Maybe I got to step in the room first. Oh, I know there's a ghoul here. This <laughs> son of a bitch. Come on, you son of a bitch. Oh, well. All right, I guess he's glitched out. Normally, there's a ghoul. Yo, psst. Okay, dog meat. Come on now. Dog meat is making things more difficult than need be. I like having a companion, but damn if they don't get in the way. I guess, uh, yeah, that ghoul's glitched out. Uh, don't worry about this sample. We're not going to use it. We're going to get the other sample that we're going to need. And then we'll need the uh, isotope. Drop down here. Pop. Dog meat is being the worst right now. So you want sample 611. And then, again, for those of you that uh, love the lore or whatnot, there's a terminal for you. I thought there was a skull in here. I love collecting skulls. There it is. Um, <laughs> that sounds really weird, but it has to do with the settlement building stuff. Here's the radioactive containment password. You want that. It'll save you some time. Come on, dog meat. 
grab these stim packs, laser trip wire, and then the Tesla arc. Go into this door here. I said go into the door. I meant let's go into the terminal and open the door. Ugh. Telling you, words just are not my friends. Again, you don't need that sample right here. Oh, of course. Excuse me, I was trying to commentate and tell my viewers that they don't need that sample until you really interrupted me. Rude ass ghoul. Shot his arm off. At least he was patient. Um, Yeah, here's another sample as well. Don't need it. We're going to put on our 10, milli uh, 10 millimeter pistol again. We're going to have a glowing ghoul, which is not fun. They're pretty beefy. When I mean beefy, I mean just tough. Tough to kill. Damn! Moves! Mr. Wayne's got moves. I mean, I am pretty awesome. Just kidding. Stop being conceited for a second. Grab this sample. U238. That's what it is. Sample U2... Er, wait, what? Tootie? <laughs> Maybe the sample's Tootie. I don't know. We're going to put the sample 3111 in. And then we're going to put the sample 611 in. And then the isotope uh, whatever. U238. Not 2D. Maybe. The 2D sample. <laughs> and then we're going to go into this terminal. All right. And then we're going to let this um, go through. Yes. Let's go back and talk to Molly. I have been instructed to inform you that Director Elwood has issued mandatory overtime due to uncompleted milestones. Have you completed the research on the Pisa nucleic lining project? The prototype is done. Wonderful. Mandatory overtime mode disengaged. Clean room override disengaged. The director will want to see this immediately. Please, follow me. Let's go into dog meat real quick and get rid of some of this stuff. Hey. Now let's go follow Molly. Now that I'm not over cucumbered, over in cucumbered. Hmm, random human spine on the floor. Awesome. Put our pipe pistol back on. Why not, right? Oh my god, dog meat. Stop it. Just stop it, bud. This is Director Elwood's office. I expect he will be quite excited to see the prototype. Wonderful news! The nucleostrictive plating project has finally produced a working prototype. Director Elwood, HR has requested that I remind you to respect employees' personal space. I must apologize for the director. He hasn't been himself lately. Must be the office flu. 
Payroll systems indicate that I have been authorized to provide you with a completion bonus at this time. Here is your bonus, minus taxes and benefits. Unfortunately, due to a lack of current projects, we must lay off redundant staff members at this time. This is not a reflection on your work, and we will be happy to provide you with a positive reference. Shutting down. <laughs> Alrighty then. Over here is some more lore, but more importantly, Massachusetts Surgical Journal. There we go. This is an amazing magazine because no matter what, it is useful. Whether you're a melee build or a like, ballistic build or heavy weapon um, or what else, uh, energy, this will allow you to do 2% extra limb damage. Um, and to be honest, that's good. Let's grab this fusion core and then we'll head out of here. And I think what we're going to do is end the video uh, as soon as we get out of Cambridge Polymer Labs. So I'll see you all on the other side of the door. Let's go ahead and end the video here. I want to start with telling everybody thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It can only help the channel. Also, if you like the content, be sure, sub, uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And like always, everybody, I hope you all have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.